Okay, example four here, they want us to determine congruence. So they're asking us, is the pair of objects congruent? If the pair of objects is congruent, describe a composition of rigid motions that maps one to the other. Um, so I think the easiest way to do this is to rotate this one um, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then um, they would match up, so they would be congruent. Um, so for me, I would say this one would be a rotation that was 90 degrees um, counterclockwise, um, and then a translation, right? So if you rotate this one 90 degrees and then translate it to the right, shift it over to the right, um, they would match up on top of each other. They would be the same size and shape, so they would be concurrent. Okay. Um, if we look at their solution, it says a reflection across a vertical line. Um, and that works if the puzzle pieces... I guess it, it shows that the, the puzzle pieces would be the same size and shape. I don't really like that as an example, though, because you're obviously not going to use um, the back of a puzzle piece. That's not going to make much sense. Um, so I guess that's fine. Um, obviously, they're way smarter than I am, and they put that answer. So fine, we can accept that. Um, I think the better answer, though, would be a rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise uh, and then a translation to the right. But that's fine too. I guess a reflection across a vertical line would work. Okay, if we look at the second one here, um, these are obviously not the same size or shape. Uh, the boards here are much thinner, much skinnier um, for both um, pieces. Um, so these are simply not going to be congruent. Okay. And if we look at the third one, um, again, I'm going to have some disagreement here, I think. Um, with um, with uh, Savas realize here. So um, if we look at their solution, um, they're going to rotate this first puzzle piece, and then they're going to reflect it across a vertical line. Um, I guess they're not they're not puzzle pieces, but they're the puzzles, and and that's fine. Um, again, though they would match up, but again, these if you look at these and reality, your pieces are um, facing upwards. So when you reflect it, it's not going to make much sense to reflect it. Um, so if you think about it as images rather than puzzles, I think that makes more sense. So these two images, if you rotate that first image 90 degrees clockwise and then reflect it over the vertical line, that's going to make a lot of sense. If you say you're reflecting a puzzle, um, again, I'm not sure that makes much sense because then the puzzle is going to be upside down and, um, and that wouldn't be congruent because it's upside down. Um, so I don't know, didn't really have much to add to their explanations other than my own, uh, grumbling here, but, um, there you go.